The Q presents On the Ground. Hi everybody, Jeff Rick here with The Cube. We are on the ground at Santa Clara, California for the Anita Borg Women of Vision Awards and uh, one of our most special guests and favorite guests we've had on a lot of times. Uh, Telly, people are going to start talking about mm -hmm. us as many times as we've been on with you. So welcome Telly Whitney, the founder and president of the Anita Borg organization. Welcome. It's great to be here. Absolutely. So excited, big night at 600 people w yeah. ready for the, uh, the gala occasion. Oh, you know, the Women of Vision is one of my favorite events because at this we, wait, tonight we celebrate the achievements of women technologists. We've got three award winners and they're inspirational, every single one of them, plus a great keynote. One of, I mean, Mary Lee Jepson, who was a previous award winner, is somebody I admire tremendously in her contributions to technology. Now, how long ago did she win? Because she is a phenomenal technical uh, talent. She is incredible. So I'm trying to remember, probably about four years ago is okay. when she won. Yeah. Um, you know, she's, uh, her journey has been incredible, and I can continue to support just to see what she's going to do next. Yeah, but yeah. and then of course there's the big, the, the big granddaddy as of them all, as they would say, with Grace Hopper coming up again in, in Houston. Yeah. How many people this year? So we're really excited about Grace Hopper this year. Um, we expect a, a little over 15,000 people. I mean, just incredible. We expect it to sell out again. Um, right. We, I mean, the response to it has been incredible. So many companies are coming, and they come again and again. They want to recruit, absolutely. We'll have about 35% of our attendees be students and faculty. But they also increasingly are bringing their women about how to reward the women who are working at these companies and support their, their own technical growth. Yeah, I think Anna said she's bringing 100 uh, people from Veritas. So it's, it's really great to see the support. Yes. And what a great venue. Yes, we see more and more companies bringing 50, 100, it's very exciting. So last year, one of the topics uh, we talked about in BNY Mellon won this uh, Vision Award was mm -hmm. you know, kind of your benchmark study and helping people start to, to benchmark uh, whether they win the award or not, kind of where are mm -hmm. they in, in, in helping women in the technology roles. Give us an update on, on what's going on there. So we have something called Top Companies, which is what okay. you're talking about. And last year, we moved it to a single award to a leadership index. And what I believe passionately that what you measure, you will change. And so companies submit their data. They understand how they're doing and they compare themselves to all the other companies that are participating. This year, at this, our goal was 50. Right now we have about 53 who've started to submit their data. We're really excited. You know, it's important to understand where you are with regards to the overall ecosystem. But this year we're piloting two new efforts. One is a qualitative side where we're, we're piloting with up to 10 companies um, a survey that goes out to their, to their workforce and it will be the same ac across all of these companies and we're partnering with an outside um, company called Conjoya that looks at, that, that does an analysis of these responses. So we're very excited about that. We're also asking more about policies and procedures. I mean, this is the front end to see how people create a culture where women thrive. Right, and because before it was more um, analytics, right? It That's was more correct. numbers based. So yes. what are some of the things that you're measuring on the softer side, if you will? Well, we're asking about how, so we're asked, so on the survey, we're asking both women and men, um, you know, how, how, how did they feel? I mean, what works for them? So really, you know, we've got all these policies and procedures that, that we believe work, but what, what do people really think about them? Um, you know, things like flex time, I mean, and how do they feel like their career is advancing? Because really what it's about is advancement. Right. And so understanding how women and men feel like they are able to advance within that organization. Yeah, and it's so important, like you say, if you, if you don't measure it, you know, how do you know whether you're progressing? And uh, Kim right. Stevenson, who we have on all the time, CIO of, of oh, Intel, yeah. you know, talks about, you know, Intel's put in a bunch of mm -hmm. very specific measures that they can now, like you say, at least benchmark and mm -hmm. start, to, start the path. So the other thing is, and I will tell you that I often use Intel as an example because they've got support from the top. Their CEO has come out and really made a declaration. They've staffed it. They've got a lot of, of effort in this, and they have made a huge difference. So I really applaud the work at Intel. Yeah, that's right, Brian. It's Brian's. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
chief of staff, I think. That's her, her charge. This is one of her main things that she's working on. I didn't she's tell. not only the his chief of staff, she's the chief diversity officer. That's right. So and she just got another promotion, too. I'm, I'm blanking on her name oh, right now. I don't know who I knew. <laughs> Danielle, Danielle Brown. Correct, yes, correct. Yes, yes. That's uh, right. And I heard she just got a promotion. Somebody just told me oh the other day. My goodness. So, uh, so nothing but goodness. Yeah, no, I mean, they really got a lot of support. So I applaud Intelligence. They're not the only company that are doing great work, but I do think that they, they are focused on measuring what will really make a difference. Companies get caught up in activities and what, you know, putting all these feel good kinds of things in. But Intel really looks at what are they doing and does it make a difference? Right. So the other thing is, as great as Grace Hopper is, mm -hmm. there's only so many people you can <laughs> fit in the, the Houston Convention Center. So I know you're doing it so, you know, to try to do things beyond just the central event that is Grace Hopper. Well, one of the things that we're really excited about is our AB, ABI.locals. And this is an effort to create local communities. And at this point, by the end of the year, we expect to be in 17 locations. And we started, we piloted in New York, but we have one in Silicon Valley, in Seattle, um, in Chicago. And these are local communities that come together. They get together on many different ways, networking receptions, breakfasts, online. And many of these will ultimately have a GHC1, which is a one-day Grace Hopper. Okay. We expect to have a... Uh, GHC1 in London in June. We're very excited about that. And how many people do you expect at, at say, GHC1 in London? Kind of what's the model? Do you support them with, with materials and how to organize? Do you have uh, an individual from ABI that's on the ground as kind of the central anchor? What's the model? Well, so that's a very great question. You know, part of what we're looking for in the GHC1 is that they're locally created and run, but we do provide infrastructure. So we have an online presence, so we we provide support like registration systems. We allow them to send um, you know, e email marketing. We, we support them in that. We actually have an ABI.local team that works with every single dot .local. So for example, we'll have, I think, three ABI staff at the one in London. I mean, this is our first international right, event. Right. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, it's a, it's a different challenge when you go international. We we know that ourselves yes. when we do shows in <laughs> Europe and people want to come to Asia Pacific. So it's yeah. you know it's not easy to do, but it's certainly worthwhile and a huge market opportunity for you. Well, you know, in the, the women in technology is a global issue, and we have a team in India. So we actually have a separate entity in India. We have four people there, but as we've looked at going more global, we're looking to do this through our ABI locals and supporting the local communities and. So we're starting with London, but we actually have ABI.locals in um, Tokyo, and we'll have one in Africa next year. So we're pretty excited about that. All right, so I'm going to give you the last word. In, okay. in, in watching people come up to you at Grace Hopper uh, last year was a, was a very special um, mm -hmm. thing to see. So you have so many stories, I'm sure, of people coming up to you and, and expressing how you have directly touched them. Um, either yourself or through ABI or through Grace Hopper. I wonder if you have any recent stories. I know you travel all over the world um, that you can share before we uh, let you go out to the big affair. Well, you know, one of the best parts of my job is this feeling that you can touch people. Um, I was actually in Brussels last week. And um, Brussels, they had a regional conference of women in technology, and I gave a keynote there. And they had, they had invited about 300 students. So after my keynote, I had these students, and they were from you know, Warsaw and um, Finland and the Netherlands, and they were just saying that because um, I, I had really challenged them to take risks and to follow their dreams, and they, I mean, they were so excited by this idea that they could really do whatever they wanted to do. So that's the great reward of my job, is to be able to see young women reaching for the stars. Awesome. Well, Telly, thank us again for sitting down. I know you're super busy tonight, mm -hmm. and good luck with the event tonight. I'm sure it will be a smashing success as always, and we'll see you in Houston in October. Well, it's great to talk to you again. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right, Telly. Telly Whitney, I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching The Cube. Thanks for watching.